Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. Showings on this motor pick, so not surprised to see it brought out fully. All right, Kobe, you said you were expecting junglers here in the oh, top yeah. side for the volatile matchup. Zika jumping forward, trying to lock up King in here. Flashes in for the Ruthless Predator, and Wei Wei is there. Vault Breaker play, make a first blood over to Zika. Go I... down. So Lucid can finish picking this one up, no problem, should be. Wei Wei's starting to get a little bit of an advantage for himself, though, because he's moved into deep he's relatively tough. okay. You can even see the rotation coming through from Hong and Wei Wei just to make sure he's going to be fine on this, but you're just leaving Gala now to get free time. All right, LNG's bringing in some backup. Vaultbreaker getting charged. Flash and Cage comes out from Hong, and they're immediately just trying to chop down that tree. Lucid gets away with 200 HP as Zika tries to keep everybody else locked up with a disengage. Coming out from Mohab, knocks him back into the river. The big bomb coming in from the Ziggs. Aiming needs one more shot, and Lucid's going to get the kill credit. DK won nothing in the scrap. That's been and very consistent for them. Uh, as we see a four-person move towards top. All right, we got the big play, the dive coming in from DK and Zik is about to drop. He stays alive for an extra second, but it is not long enough. But now the Maokai ulti coming out, stolen away by Scout, but it will not matter as everybody on DK exits stage left. And they fully commit to this. They're like, you know, second spawn of Grubs. We're going to send everybody up to go for the tower dive first, but now the chase. The immediate counterattack coming out from LNG with a Vi ulti into the follow-up from Scout. They take down Mohop, but a teleport arrives, and Kingen is ready to tear through on a rampage. He chases Hung down, but Hung gets back over the wall as Lucid has to try to escape back into the mid lane. It's a three-man chase from LNG. They won't Still get a kill. able to get their grubs. Can they finish the last one? Oh, no, they will not. Stolen away. How now, Mr. Cow Weiwei? Stuck in the pit, and he ain't getting out. It's the final grub. They followed up. They got that one. And because you saw the smite used on that grub, He's not going to have his next smite charge available for the final grub. As you know, stolen away by the cow. Really fun action so far. All right, as we get back to live, turrets are collapsing in bottom and top lane both as LNG grabs Seeker. the first. But bouncing bomb's not going to connect in response. MasterCard Lane Economy snapshot showing you that, yes, it's a bit of a gold lead for Kingen, but all of the other gold leads going the opposite direction down here in the bottom lane, though. 1v1 between our ulting top laners. Zika trying to wait for those cooldowns to come back. He doesn't want to stand there and fight the Olaf. Auto attack V, auto attack. Zika looking to chase him down now. A little bit more is all he needs. Run, Kingen, run! Zika with the solo kill. As he teleport back in, is it's about to come off cooldown. Oh, where's Scout off to? Okay, oh wait, Gala, very low on HP, down to 150, having to try to get away from this with the Killer Instinct, last bouncing bomb, ain't gonna hit him. The AD carry from LNG staying alive as Moham has already used the ultimate, the Unbreakable Will no longer available, counterattack coming out from LNG now as Moham has to try to get oh. away. Another stolen Maokai ulti, they go in, and LNG finds themselves another kill. They get everybody right on back out. Separating the, the two squads, however, that's going to be assisted here a little bit for the other side. Side. Spikes here might be amazing. Regardless, though, is going to be Rift Herald picked up and Kingen. Ooh, yeah. Kingen trying to get himself away. Zik is going to stop the back. Kingen knows that the only way this works out okay is if he takes somebody with him. He cannot escape there. And he tried. Then he also got the solo kill. Then his team arrives here. It has just been. Whoa. All Zika all day, and now... Now we got some more problems for Moham and for DK, as Scout is ready to jump in after him. Stolen Alistar ulti means he's totally unafraid of any sort of a counterattack. <laughs> Hung now just also continuing to try to chase this. Scout got knocked back over the wall. He misses the abscond abduct, <laughs> but Void Seeker from all the way in mid lane. Gal is the one getting the face. He's into the middle of three members of DK. It's like, I got this, it's fine, but it worked out. Oh, Scout. Oh, oh. Hold on now. TP coming in for LNG. Scout might be a little bit too far forward. Seals away the Maokai ulti, which means he doesn't have the tankiness from the Alistar that he would like to have. Scout jumping back into the Baron pit, flashing back over the wall, barely staying alive. Mom roars in. Scout steps to the left. He lives. He walks away 67 for 67 stacks. That's honestly, gentlemen, not a lot for this point in the game. He's still going to need a couple of more minutes to hit that 225 sweet spot, as now LNG might have themselves another opportunity out of play. They 
They will not be able to catch out that enemy Alistar, but Aiming's in a lot of trouble. Flash for the Ruthless Predator, and Gala's on a killing spree. TP arrives too late from DK to do anything about it. With the enemy Ziggs down, with his flash blown, it's problems for DK. Beautiful engage coming out from Hung as LNG follows up, and a Void Seeker finds the heart of Moham. DK just collapsed, and LNG hit him right in the ribcage. towers. I mean, I just think I just heard the words fatality off the back of oh, that one. This is the guy who has been criticized quite a lot in LNG for just not having the best on the bottom side of your screen or bottom side of the map. But I think this is where LNG, this 1 3 1 is a very strong point for LNG to say, hang on, no, we are a force to be reckoned on with. A five for Weiwei, been critical for setting up a lot of these plays as LNG going so to the take minions were still empowered by the Baron, though, so they didn't all die down there either. And the Renekton pressure is going to be relentless while the oh, rest of the team. Yeah, there's not a whole lot left to loose in here in the top side jungle. As long as they have the tier two, it ain't gonna matter now. But hold on, Gala and Weiwei are gonna keep pushing the issue further forward. Over the wall, the abscond of Duck doesn't catch anybody else. And Scout and Hung gotta try to get back away. Zika showing up for the reinforcements, but King and nobody takes Hung out of the picture. Zika fighting 1v3 on the front line, but he has to disengage back into the jungle now. Here to the rest of the team. L One face check that you shouldn't have checked is instant lights out. <laughs> oh, hang on, no. Yeah, never mind. Fight starting off. Weiwei jumping to the back immediately, going after aiming. That's a flashback over the wall, trying to stay safe as Weiwei going to get bursted down by Mamba the Sarex, keeping him alive for an extra second. Showmaker grabbing the kill on that one as Kingen is scrapping and fighting back against LNG. Zika has to try to get away, staying alive with a Sarex of his own as Gala is going to be taken down to 138 HP and he's going to continue retreating back to his own jungle. LNG have lost a man and killed no one on DK. DK standing strong, starting up the Baron, but LNG is still here. Scout looking for the opportunity to go back in. He steals the Alistar off the away and now he's jumping in on top of Lucid. Kill the jungler, kill the Baron. It's that easy. Mohawk trying to get back away now as well as Zika wants to go in for a pin through attack. But Gala with a beautiful shot takes out the enemy support. Jungle and support on DK down. So he just immediately <laughs> goes, thank you very much. I'll take that. Lucid tickle. So this is why LNG are starting it up. They need this objective. The guys are with a death cap too. I'm very scared of that thing. Okay, let's see. Is DK also scared of an LNG? Look at the force down the Baron. Weiwei loses. Zika. Up in the top lane. Looking to take care of the last couple of hits onto that tier two they couldn't grab earlier. So now that one's out of the picture. They'll try to pressure. Great combo for Zika. Yeah. Kingen not loving this situation as the tier three turret is going to be killed in both top and mid lane at the same time. Zika pops the Dominus, looks to rotate over to the greater fight. They're going to lock up Moham here with the very start of Scouts, deals away the Unbreakable Will. He's so tanky there on the front line. Mega Mega just fine as DK scrambled to try to defend. And they're teleporting right back in. Gala jumps in with the Killer Instinct. He wanted to go after Showmaker, but he ain't going to find him. He stays alive with the extra bit of time from the Stasis. Kingen's on the front trying to hold these guys off, putting a couple of hits into Hung, but it ain't going to matter. Scout Steals away another Maokai ulti. LNG with two inhibitors down on the enemy squad. Continue to push forward. Mohan barely stays alive. Wei Wei getting himself back into the fight. He's trying to stay alive, but it ain't gonna work out. It's two dead on the side of LNG. But Zika, Scout, and Gala are still pushing. The minions are finally gonna get cleared away, and DK's looking for a little bit of extra punish, but they ain't gonna find anything here just yet. The game goes on. That last... Wei Wei and Gala DPSing the elder just by themselves as a two-man unit. As Hung's gonna run interference, looking to keep everybody else away with a crash down to the Magnet Storm. Zika's ready to follow it up. They got the Elder, and they're looking to tear through DK. The remaining four players trying to get out, but it ain't gonna matter. Scout's got an unbreakable will, and LNG's got unbreakable lines. Moham will be the next to die as a double kill for Gala will seal their fate. Scout goes on a rampage. One goes back, but it will not matter. Ace for one. Game one is going the way of L N G. They'll push down that last Nexus turret. They'll make a statement 18 to 8. And L N G is up 1-0 in the first promo series of the quarterfinals. Camille wins, really. Okay. I mean, Camille should be advantage. So, um, you know, traditionally, I, I think the Cassante is like uh, a little there. bit rough. And with now Scout on the Galio with no flash, he will certainly be a viable target. As Zika right now is the target. Yep, knocked back with the satchel charge. Zika trying to get away there. Jumps towards his opponents with a hook shot for the extra distance, but it does not matter. First blood over to aiming on the Ziggs. So setting it up for aiming for Ziggs to get fed. Now the opposite dive. Yeah, they want to get this dive onto Kingen if they can. 
Doing a good job defending himself for now. Turret shots flying out, but Scalp's made his way down to the fight now, too. 4v1, Kingan still level 5, nowhere close to being able to go all out, but he knocks him back, doing a beautiful job so far. Kingan, one-man army from DK, he finally falls! LNG barely stumbling. Well, that would have been such a big difference if it was slightly faster, but unfortunately for DK, LNG, even though they had a tough time doing it, they got it done. Gala flashes back over the wall. Showmaker with a spirit rush to try to chase him uh -oh. down. He's all out of charges now, though. The orb flies out. Showmaker doing a good job flashing away from the hook shot of Zika, who does not have his own I ulti. So. To it's going to be a very, very dangerous Ziggs very early on into this game. Yeah, there you go, turret down. Ziggs doing what Ziggs does, and Kingan now goes all out here with the Cassante chasing after Hung. But he can just join up with the rest of his team up here in this bottom side river. Weiwei still working on the Drake. They're level four with their half HP for the support and jungler of LNG, so they gotta be a little bit careful here, even though they have a massive numbers advantage. They catch King, and he went way too close. What in the hell are we doing, King? And that was not the right choice. LNG getting a punish, and now the fight might just continue. Lucid wants to try to get away back over the wall. The ball breaker ain't gonna work. DK just throwing their men into a blender. Would be very nice for them, even though they're our bottom tower here is very close to going down, and three members of LNG are coming to try and make sure of that. Yep, we got another teleport coming in to try to turn this into a very one-sided fight. It's another bad experience for King and around the bottom lane. I think it's always one of the most critical skills in League of Legends that really separates the top teams. Hold on now, another one of those skills is a dive when you can find it. Beautifully done from DK, but a nice interruption as LNG want to get that counterattack now on Lucid, who tries to escape off to the right, but it's not going to do a whole lot. You would have to think Lucid still staying alive for now still trying to get himself back away one more punch from scouts gonna get it done as hung gets slammed back into the wall there by the poppy but a dp is coming in there's your glacial prison there's a double kill back over the scout there's zika making his way into the fight as king and goes unstoppable with his reinforcement but the fight's already finally done lng is knowing when to just let something go and take something else instead but lng take one of yours so good day sir we'll back away but they will back away towards this dragon which is working out well for them yep. and zika now trying to see if he can just put some the setup now as everybody heading over towards top river so i feel like we might get a nice little scrap here yes sir rift herald has spawned lng with a five-man play going in they find the glacial prison but it's only on the moham how much do they want to commit to this looks like the whole kitchen sink should be a one for one though hung barely getting away showmaker finally gonna finish him but lucid's gonna drop next 3v4 aiming is still alive kingan trying to cut off zika hero's entrance looking to back up that top later as kingan is once again in a bad spot. He has to flash to try to escape, but it's scout back over the wall. LNG doing a beautiful job as the fist of scout finds the forehead of aiming. Terrell and back in mid lane as a distraction that needs to be answered by DK here at the same time. Showmaker's gonna step up, but the Mountain Drake is this. also... Yeah, Showmaker and Lucid both around here. Mega Inferno Bomb used to just clear the wave. Scout's Justice Punch gets interrupted, so then he has to flash to try to escape, but a nice charm from Showmaker to lock him up, and LNG is gonna get punished immediately. The vial to stop the hero's exit. Beautifully done there to ruin the game. There's actually two items for Zika. Slight advantage here over Kingen, who hasn't been able to complete. And he's trying to make it work. He does get his teleport off, so LNG, they want this soul. They're yep. gonna send everybody. Zika here first, LNG with control over the pit. They're gonna pour some DPS into the objective. DK, still gotta be careful about their approach, but they're gonna be a little bit too little, too late. Mega Inferno Bomb over the top as they wanna try to get their jungler in there, but instead the counterattack coming out from LNG. The Drake is gonna be secured, that is Mountain Soul. Over to the LPL squad, as now they're gonna take the full fight, but they gotta be careful. Zika here on the front line, gonna be taken low, but he barely five thanks to Sterex Gage. Now the Wombo Combo, the damage back over onto King, it's gonna be good. LNG still chasing, but Weiwei is at death's door. Aiming takes him down, and Hung is gonna be stopped. LNG still screaming to fight, a double kill back over to Aiming, make it a triple for the Ziggs, Scout about to fall, and the Void Seeker won't get one back, it's Soul of an LNG. I want to see the fight again, Gala here though is going to try and fight them off the Baron, they're still rushing it down, it's only, it's 3,000 health. 2,000 health, 1,000 health secured by Lucid and DK. But so low, Aiming can flash forward, and he also gets the knock onto Hung to make sure he can get that double kill. Alright, back to live. 
Engage from Lucid, going in, tries to find the slam of the way way. The Sejuani, not anywhere tanky enough to survive this. And DK with momentum barreling down the bottom lane. They saw Zuka in this top side, so they immediately go for the pick. They get it, and the reset now from Kingen to defend this top turret. Is... of another really bad game state, and they are now over 4,000 gold. Saw the magic penetration. We saw Nashor's Tooth, all these things. This time around, it's much more of a fighting, shooting DPS dive build. If you're not diving, you're not really doing anything on LNG's side. And if DK continues building their lead, the dive gets tougher and tougher. Moham, very, very low, but he still stays alive. Critically, Kingen trying to also continue the retreat. LNG keeps the chase alive. Scout doing a great job, locking up the enemy Cassante. Zik has already killed off Moham, but meanwhile, back in the jungle, it's Gala under pressure. Huge damage coming in. Gala is saved it somehow by the hero's entrance plus the shielding. Scout can't come in behind them with a big taunt. Zika trying to wrap around completely out of vision. Lucid trying to mark him and spot him out. We'll just see him here now. Okay. They've got eyes on Zika, but now the fight's gonna start off. Lucid wanted to go in, but it ain't gonna work out here quite yet. Aiming forced into the stasis here immediately, but a massive engage coming up from Hong. He locks everybody up, but where's the follow-up? Kingen's gonna die. Gala takes him out. DK trying to get themselves away. Zika's still barely alive here at about 25% HP back into the Drake pit. Lucid over the wall, still thinking about maybe trying to fight for it. Moham at one third HP, aiming. He needs to recall, reset, rejoin the fight here with a teleport. The dragon at 6,000 as Hung again still looking for an angle. There's your talk coming out from Scout. Zika back over the wall and Lucid is down. The charm on Gala will finish him off, but Showmaker dies to Scout here as well. Aiming and Moham trying to get themselves back away as Weiwei will be left alone here with the Elder Dragon. Hung still chasing and Elder Execute would be almost immediate here on Moham. He's about to take the damage. The winds of war are blowing and they will burn down the house of DK aiming the last man standing. He's kiting them all the way through the jungle. They gotta be careful about this one. The Ziggs is so damn hard to kill, but they've got so many more men. Weiwei still coming back around from the side. The Elder Dragon Sejuani trying to cut him off, <laughs> aiming with a beautiful Mega Inferno Bomb to take out the enemy support, but he pays with it, with his life. Back to life. <laughs> LNG going after Baron. And there is no contest. Wait, they oh. want. You can already see Zuka pushing in that top side. The way it was controlled by Showmaker on the bottom end, but a potential play from LNG is always on the cards. Zika going to reset. I think he's looking for a TP back in onto the play, having finished off a GA. There it goes. Yeah. And now going to come back in immediately onto the top side turret. Yeah. Keep your eyes on aiming. The whole game is Camille's about already aiming. in. Zika. Camille's on the tower. Camille's yeah. deleting the tower. He just he needed one more hit. I don't think he's going to find it. Hook shot to escape in time. Glacial Prison over the wall to block any sort of a chase that DK would have wanted to execute on as Gala, now with a space created by Zika in the top lane, can secure the kill. Aiming was pumping out damage, trying to do as much as it can. Uh, but LNG, of course, still with their Dragon Soul, with all the extra gold that they've now gotten too, try to come and finish off the other side of the map. Oh, Moham finds himself in a bad spot. He's down, Zika, seeing the angle to block his escape. Now a 5v4 for LNG. Glacial Prison on the King, and yet again, the 0-6 Cassante has had such a struggle here in this second game as LNG, their Baron is about to expire. They want to try to get all the value that they can, rotating back over to the mid lane now as the wave is also about to crash. Mega Inferno Bomb with very little value mid lane inhibitor would be the first one to fall on dk's side as lng maintain their 5 before advantage for the next 10 seconds there's nothing more to claim here in the base they're going to retreat for now still hanging around though seeing if maybe DK, DK coming in as zika just bought his death's dance it is full build camille going into the second elder drake fight of the game gala taking the poke though from aiming as showmakers forced into the stasis he's got to try to get himself back away zika into the back line but he's already isolated he's gonna be knocked down surely though right heroes in Entrance ain't quite gonna find the way that it's looking for. Zika onto the back line, aiming trying to get away. They need to lock him up, beat him down. Weiwei finds the kill on aiming, and DK is looking like a graveyard right now. LNG barreling down mid lane. Game two was closer. DK was stronger, but LNG.
she still are better. Kingan jumps into the middle of everybody, but it ain't gonna do a damn thing. Showmaker gets shown just who's the better team here. And LNG are the first team going to quarterfinals in Worlds 2024. These were the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.